Hey guys! Everyone's like snacking hay in a different corner. We'll be sitting here. Then there's Fitz and Lumi over there. Oh, will be joining us. And then I'm happy to report that Lulu is still 100% of the time choosing her childhood hay rack. I mean, she absolutely loves sleeping in this hay rack. And as you can see, she definitely taught Fitz that you can go inside this hay rack. Though Fitz is a tiny, tiny bit too big for fitting in that space. But Lulu loves to sleep in there. But for eating hay, it's definitely this hay rack all the way. And it's pretty funny because this is the same exact hay rack that my mom used to have when Lulu was a baby guinea pig. So a really long time ago, but yeah, Lulu seems to have remembered this hay rack, which Lulu, this is just adorable. You, you are adorable. I always have this head cannon, basically, that whenever we have a new guinea pig, like will be, and we bring the guinea pig to my mom's for a vacation, that Lulu like tells the new guinea pig all about this magical place where you get to eat food off of a porcelain plate and they get food whenever they week. And then the new guinea pig doesn't believe Lulu and then they go to my mom's on vacation and the new guinea pig sees that Lulu is actually telling the truth. This is totally my headcanon for whenever a new guinea pig goes to my mom's. Also, regarding this tiny little guinea pig, I have finally solved a mystery that's been keeping me up all night. And this is just a really tiny exaggeration. Basically, I currently don't have any plexiglass in here, or rather the guinea pigs don't, because the plexiglass broke. You can see that some of the T profiles, U profiles, whatever you call them, the, here, these thingies broke off and we need to glue them back in, but most importantly, some of the plexiglass just doesn't look that good anymore. And so I just wanted to get new ones. And since the guinea pigs don't really like escape this cage, except for this guinea pig right here, I've decided that we can have an open living situation based on a trust basis, which works out really well. But like there is just, always so much hay and bedding and guinea pig beans out here. I will leave this room and it is clean and then I come back and just the entire guinea pig cage basically is outside the space. And I had honestly no idea how that happened. Lumi probably did. I was really trying to troubleshoot like does this happen when we refill the hay but how does all of that bedding and the guinea pig's beans get out here. And yesterday I was sitting in the living room watching a movie when I heard a pretty distinct noise. And that was Fitz sitting right here, head in this direction, behind in this direction, and was using her hind legs to just kick everything out of this cage. Yeah, Fitz, I am talking about you solved this mystery it was all fit and I have no idea why she does that maybe she thinks this space belongs to her maybe she just wanted to clean up some mess I don't know but she is kicking everything out of this cage I'm at least happy to say it's not my non-existent hay refilling abilities but apparently Fitz has found this hobby and she would have gotten away with it if it weren't for Netflix yeah, this video is not sponsored. It was me, Wilby, that was Fitzy. Oh, Wilby, you so got peed on. And again, I hope this is the quality content that you came here for.
Okay, Willby really has it out for her fits today. Well, not exactly has it out. Like, you know, this is just really normal guinea pig behavior that we're seeing here. That Willby is just like really just barely chasing fits a little bit and is trying to jump on her. Really normal guinea pig behavior. That stuff really happens regularly. It doesn't even mean that they have any hierarchy issues. It can also just be that. It's just time for that right now, but <laughs> Fitz has repeatedly peed on Willby so far. Oh, you're so cute, Willby. You know what? I just noticed that you don't have your own song yet. Do you want one? Okay, let's do this. Willby gets a song now. Sorry, Fitz. <laughs> I think when we got really spooked that I wanted to film him while he was sleeping. I'm so sorry, this is just a regular day around here. This is not normal? That is cute, Willby. That is quality content. No, you're resorting to teeth chattering? Oh, okay. Good for you, Lumi. You're getting some camera time. Lumi, you are still happy being filmed. All right, well, Wilby has definitely told me to stop filming. So I think I'm going to end this video here. Wilby, you're getting your privacy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Also, Lulu has fallen asleep in the hay rack. Bye.